This Week in IT. Microsoft isn't using your data to train its AI models and the most important Copilot updates from Ignite 2024. So stay tuned for all the latest news. Welcome to This Week in IT, the show where I talk about everything connected to Windows, Azure and Microsoft 365. Today's episode is sponsored by our friends at Semperis. But before I get started, I've got a quick favour to ask you. 76% of the people who watched last week's video weren't subscribed to the channel. Now, as we go live today, we're on about 10,500 subscribers. I'd love it if we could push that up to 10,600 this week. So if you'd like to see these weekly news updates from Petri.com, then please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification to make sure that you don't miss out on the latest uploads. I don't know about you, but the internet and maybe Twitter or X, whatever you call it these days specifically, sometimes reminds me of a kind of a medieval world where rumours are spread and then the, the crowd is whipped up into a frenzy, very often based on no actual facts whatsoever. And something interesting happened this week where Microsoft actually came out and denied a rumor that was circulating from a post that was originally made on X and that's something that Microsoft rarely does. Now don't get me wrong, you know, people sometimes make honest mistakes and you can maybe understand from Microsoft's very poor communication sometimes how those mistakes are maybe innocently made and then they turn into a rumor that maybe isn't exactly accurate. But in this particular occasion, I read the the said post and really wondered how the user really came to the conclusion that they did because it seems to be based on nothing whatsoever. You can't really say that it's a misunderstanding. They just didn't really do any kind of fact checking whatsoever. So what happened is a user called Nixcraft posted, Microsoft Office, like many companies in recent months, has slyly turned on an opt-out feature that scrapes your Word and Excel documents to to train its internal AI systems. This setting is turned on by default and you have to manually uncheck a box in order to opt out. Now this soon turned into people worrying about that everything they type into a Word document or Excel is being secretly scraped by Microsoft and then being used to train its own AI models. And this quickly spread around Twitter and even the wider internet. Now, earlier this week, Microsoft came out and said that this is absolutely not true. So the setting that Nixcraft was referring to is a setting in Microsoft Office applications called Microsoft Connected Services. And for some reason, the user had decided that these connected services also included AI. Now, Microsoft has said very clearly exactly what connected services means. So the connected experience this setting refers to features like co-authoring in Word documents where you get to essentially edit live in real time and you can see what other people's changes are being made to that document in real time, cloud storage, those kinds of features which have existed in Microsoft 365 apps you know, for a very long time at this point. You can disable those connected experiences if you want, but it doesn't you know, apply to AI or it's scraping the data and using that data to train its internal AI models. Microsoft has never said that, so I'm not quite sure where this user got that from. Now, you know, you trust Microsoft, you don't trust Microsoft. I understand why people might not trust these big corporations with their data. That's a decision that you have to make. But, you know, I think that until we have some evidence that Microsoft is actually lying to us, and there doesn't appear to be any evidence of that at this stage, then I think that we should all probably just accept, you know, if we're going to use these services that, you know, our data 
isn't being used to train these models. If you don't trust Microsoft, nobody's forcing you to use Microsoft. Go over to Google and see if you've got a better situation there. I don't think so. But you know, it's your decision, your company's decision at the end of the day. Before we go on to the Copilot news, here's a quick message from the sponsors of today's video, Semperis. Did you know that Active Directory is exploited in nine out of 10 cyber attacks? Once cyber criminals control your Active Directory, it's game over. With access to AD, attackers can gain control of your entire network. And if AD goes down, business comes to a halt. And it's not just on-premises Active Directory that's under attack. Cyber criminals are targeting Azure Active Directory too. Attackers can gain entry in the cloud and move to on-premises identity systems or vice versa. To keep threat actors out, you need to find and fix Active Directory security gaps. Meet Purple Knight, your ally in defending against adversaries trying to breach your hybrid Active Directory environment. Purple Knight is a free Active Directory security assessment tool built by some Paris identity experts. With Purple Knight, you can spot Active Directory vulnerabilities before attackers do. Purple Knight scans your hybrid environment for hundreds of indicators of exposure or compromise in both on-premises Active Directory and Azure AD. Purple Knight gives you an overall security score and prioritized remediation guidance for fixing AD security vulnerabilities. There was a lot of announcements connected to Copilot at last week's Ignite conference. I didn't get a chance to cover them in last week's video, so I wanted to go through them this week. Now, most of the biggest announcements surrounded Copilot Actions, which is a new feature that's going to make it easy for end users to streamline the automation of particular actions using Copilot, and probably most importantly, using Copilot to interact with data from different Microsoft 365 apps. Now, Microsoft says that Copilot Actions are going to allow end users to automate repetitive tasks using customizable simple prompts. So I guess what they mean by that is natural language. It's available now already in private preview for Microsoft 365 customers that have a Copilot license. And these customizable action templates can be run on demand or you can schedule them to run essentially. Now, Microsoft SharePoint customers, they'll be able to create custom agents that are tailored to specific SharePoint files, folders, or sites that support common business processes. So you have to remember that agents and actions are slightly different things. Well, they're completely different things, in fact. So these agents can be configured to take real-time meeting notes during Teams meetings, for instance. In Microsoft Planner, they can you know, help users automate project management tasks within an organization. So I think Microsoft really needs to clearly explain to people the difference between an agent and an action, yeah? So an agent is like a helper, a helper service. It has a, you know, a predefined task, like to interpret a document or to take notes in a meeting. You can think of it a bit like a, you know, like a personal assistant that has a specific role. And I'm guessing that the agents help you to orchestrate particular things that may or may not use those particular agents that Microsoft is providing at this stage. There was a small update to Copilot Pages, and actually this is something that I've not really looked into, but I believe it's similar to, I think it's the notebook feature that Google also has with its uh, Gemini, Gemini AI. I guess it's a little bit similar to that. And Microsoft announced that there are gonna be new content creation capabilities, including multi-page support and rich artifacts. Microsoft also announced that you'll be able to use Copilot to analyze screen shared content during a, a Teams meeting. So that's something that might also come in useful. Now, during the keynote speech for Ignite, there was a lot of emphasis on organizations being able to better control how Copilot is used in their organizations, because I know there's been a lot of worry about being able to control that and what exactly users can do with it and the potential security risks around it. And of course, there's always the issue of understanding, is it being used? used effectively and adoption. Now, Microsoft announced 
Copilot control system, and it provides data protection management controls and reporting capabilities for Microsoft 365 administrators. Microsoft also announced that the Copilot Assistant for Microsoft 365 is getting integration with the administration centers, which will help IT admins analyze Microsoft 365 usage and trends. And Copilot in the Administration Center is currently available in private preview and it will become generally available in 2025. Let me know in the comments below how Copilot for Microsoft 365 is being used in your organization. If you've already adopted it, will these new controls and insights be valuable to help uh, give more confidence to the security and administration of it and to see whether your organization is really making effective use of it. I'd love to know what you think. I'm going to leave another video on the screen for you now with a whole load of other important announcements from Ignite. So do check that out. I'd like to thank again the sponsors of today's video, Semperis. But that's it for me this week and I'll see you next time.